What is going on guys? It's Dash Rat from Dash Rat and Productions and today I'm coming at you with a little bit of a tutorial. I'm going to show you how I score film or videos, whatever you want to call it, in FL Studio 20, which a lot of people probably wouldn't think to use, but it's actually really easy and if you use FL Studio and you're used to it already, then it's just going to be the easiest way for you to do this without having to worry about like learning another software. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> Basically what we're going to do is use the FL video or fruity video player. And you're going to open that uh, just like an instrument. It's up here under visual. <clears throat> and then this little box is going to pop up. You're going to want to make sure that this is detached. And then you can kind of just put it over there or wherever you want. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is come down here to the little file um, and you're going to pick whatever video you're trying to score. So you can see I got <clears throat> this video ready to go. This has no audio or anything. It's uh, like a little commercial for a friend of mine at Meraki Art Designs. They do handmade jewelry and we shot a little bit of a like commercial type b-roll sequence. I'm going to do the music for it now. So this is just the effects and cut together how I want it. Um, the good thing about doing it this way is you won't have to ever cut out like parts of your video that you don't want to cut out. If you're editing to music you might have to be like oh I really want this cut, cut to be right here on this beat but I want to use that second of footage and it can kind of get annoying like trying to deal with that. So if you're making the music to the video it's a lot easier to deal with it and that's uh, that's why they do it in films and stuff, and you can add, you know, a cool little ominous background sounds and all that. So, yeah. Um, and then what we're going to want to do once we have this loaded up is click this little chain link right here. And you see up in the corner that says slave playback to host. Okay, yeah, so I already had it engaged. Make sure that's green right there. Okay, and then we're going to jump in and start laying down some instruments. And... I'm going to figure out a good BPM for this song first. All right, so to figure out the BPM, I'm just going to, I put a blank pattern down here. I'm just going to play through with the metrom, metronome going and see if it is matching up nicely to the pace of my cuts and effects. And if it's not, I'll raise it, lower it, whatever needs to be done until I feel good about it. All right, so I'm liking 136. I kind of want this to be a little bit more like upbeat, kind of happy, bouncy. So I think I'm going to start with like kind of a bell or something. Kind of like that. Let's see. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of going with like my thoughts of like the energy and the message and kind of like way the business is. And I'm going to try and match that with the emotion of the music. Thank you. 
So now that I have that, what I'm going to do to build off of this is I'm just going to make a new pattern and copy it each time. So I'll pull that over and then I'll just make this unique. I'll just build off the pattern like that. I don't really score a film the same way I would like make a song and put it together. Um, I just kind of build one pattern off of another. The reason being that I might end up wanting to like change the tempo at some point or I don't know, just go back and repeat. Yeah, I don't exactly know how to explain why I do it like that, but that's just uh, how I do it. Let's get going. So now I'm in the second pattern. I'm gonna add something else, probably some percussion or some chords. I don't know yet. So I got the first like sequence down, and now what I'm gonna do is uh, switch it up. And then it's gonna change up right here. So I'm gonna put a second pattern. So I finished up the song, uh, put all the percussion in and stuff like that, and then did sound effects. So for every kind of like transition where I thought there might be a nice whoosh sound or something like that, uh, for the clipping of the, the wire I put in, I actually used a sound effect from a shell casing of a gun, like a bullet casing hitting the ground. And I get all my sounds from Splice. Uh, that's who I use. There's a ton of other good ones too that you could use as well, but I just, being a music producer, I use Splice for a lot of stuff, but they have tons of cinematic effects too, so that's where I got most of this stuff from. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you the finished product and hope you like it. It's been Dash Stratton with Dash Stratton Productions. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, anything like that, if you liked it, please drop a like, drop a subscribe if you wanna see what I'm doing with my life in the future. And uh, yeah, like I said, Dash Stratton, Dash Stratton Productions, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.